Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to report measurement models in Adenco. In my previous video, we have already discussed how to construct the model in Adenco. For rearranging or reorganizing the constructs, you can click here. When the plus sign appears, you can, you can change the position of these constructs. Moreover, if you want to hide the measured variables, click on it and remove this click tick mark. So, you will be in the position to hide the measured variables. Now, how to report the reliability and validity? But before we report this, let us see the threshold limits. As suggested by the authors, the indicator reliability, that is the item loading, should be more than 0.7. For the internal consistency, consistency reliability the composite reliability and the Cronbeck alpha should be more than 0.7 rho should be more than 0.7 the conversion validity that is average variance extracted AVE should be more than 0.5 for divergent validity we will see the foreigner Larkin criterion here the testing will be done diagonally the heterotet monotret ratio the desirable threshold is the value should be less than 0.85. Now, how to generate the reliability and validity measures? Let's see in Adenco. We'll click on results and click here, show the results. It will give the graphical representation of our model. You click on overall model, it will give you the standardized root mean residual. The desirable value of this is less than 0.1. From here, when, from here, you can select any of the table, you can copy it and you can paste it in the Excel also. This we will see later on. Now, you can scroll your mouse and you can see other measures of reliability and validity. The construct reliability is generated first. As we, as we know that, that this value should be more than 0.7, then we can say that the reliability has been achieved. Here, you can see that Construct reliability as for staying intention is not generated because it is on the format, it is a formative construct. Now let us talk about the conversion validity. Here the desirable value is this would be more than 0.5. You can see here that the staying intention conversion validity is not generated again because it is on formative scale. Now you can scroll down below for discriminant validity. First of all, you will have to see the foreigner Larkin criterion. We evaluate the foreigner Larkin criterion diagonally. We will have to see the values diagonally. So, 0 0.4818, 0 0.6064, 0 0.7214, 0 0.6466. Now, how to interpret this result? Let us see. If you want to achieve the discriminant validity according to the foreigner Larkin criterion, so if you talk about this value, this value should be maximum in the corresponding rows and it should be maximum in corresponding columns. It's same like smart PLS. I again repeat here. This value should be maximum in the corresponding row and the corresponding column. If we have achieved this, then we can say that the discriminant validity is achieved. But the authors consider the formal Larkin criterion to be the biased one and therefore they have developed the new measure which is known as a heterotrate monotrate ratio, HTMT. The desirable threshold limit for this is, this values, all these values should be less than 0.85. Now you can scroll below. If your construct is reflective, you will have to see the outer loadings. And as suggested, its value should be more than, you can see from here, its value should be more than 0.7. Let us go back on the result. This value should be more than 0.7. If it is less than this, it means that the average variance extracted is less than 50%. If your measured variables are on the reflective, uh, are, are on formative construct, then you will have to see the weights. You will not see the loadings, you will have to see the weights. Specifically, if I talk about staying intention, you will have to see the 
widths here outer widths now you can see one thing more here that in case of loading this i'll scroll my mouse though our saying intention is on the is a formative construct still the measures have been generated this measures have been generated on the assumption that if your string intention was on the reflective construct, then what will be your output? So this is an assumption. Now let us go back. The question is, can Adenco work if I am having only single measured variable? Let's check it. If I go on deleting it. Perfect. It can work on even a single measured variable. So this is a way you can interpret. You can interpret your measurement model, which is also known as the outer model in case of Adenco. For more videos on Adenco, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.